Um, we used to beat women. I'm not in favor of that. I'm not saying I like that. But it's so funny. They go out and say, well, we want trad porn. Oh, it's kind of kitschy. It's like in the 70s. We have a pinup calendar. Are you aware that in the 70s, guys used to get drunk, come home, and punch their wife in the face? And women were told to shut the fuck up? Like, and could you imagine what they were doing 100 years ago? And I'm not saying we need to bring that back. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just because things are old isn't a good heuristic. Why do feminist historians always make up lies about history? Why do they do that? Ever since the 1960s, they have been making these fake history books that have a bunch of myths in them. And they put them in freaking colleges and schools. They were allowed to put them in colleges and schools, even though they were fake. The history books said that, that in our society, even in England and America, domestic violence was not against the law until the 1970s. This myth has been debunked over one million times by millions and millions and millions of other people other than just myself, including expert historians, law school experts, most elderly people in general, and museums, not to mention hundreds of artifacts. In England, harming your wife for any reason other than self-defense was strictly forbidden and prohibited for at least 400 years, if not more. In America, it was never legal to put lay a finger on your wife. It never was. If you laid a finger on your wife, you would have got horsewhipped. Horsewhipped for doing it. Feminist historians like to claim that back in the olden days in our society, Domestic violence against women happened way more than domestic violence against men. This is what the feminist historians say. Of course, feminist historians are liars. Because the opposite of that is true. In our society, the English-speaking society, the opposite of that is the truth. Back in 19th century America, for example, wives were way more abusive to their husbands. Rarely a single husband even laid a finger on his wife, even in self-defense. It rarely happened. And whenever it did happen, that husband was big time chased down by angry vigilantes, his own gender. Nobody liked an abusive husband back then. Nobody did. They were hated a lot more back then than they ever will be now. As you can see, there are heavy contradictions to how women were treated in the past. Some claim that women were treated like slaves and property by their husbands and that wife beating was so common back then that women were basically treated in the West similar to how Islamic countries treat women today. That's what a lot of feminists claim in order to make society feel guilty about the past. And that is also what some men from the far right who want to use that as justification to put women in their place or keep them in line claim. But as you saw from the second clip, some conservative men actually claim that the opposite is true. That Western women were never oppressed or treated like slaves. That women were treated with chivalry and respect. That it was never ever acceptable for a man to put his hands on a woman violently, especially his wife, even in self-defense. That wife beating was rare and if it did happen, everyone would be outraged and would want to lynch the husband. The second guy even made a bold claim that wives were actually more abusive and would beat up their husbands, and he would just stand there and take it. Men would make references to the Titanic and talk about how women were so valued back then, and when women started getting equal rights, they sacrificed all that, and chivalry 
went away. So to summarize, some claim that women were treated a lot worse back then. Some claim that women were treated better and were treated with chivalry back then. I'm not sure who to believe. My observation is that even though people are more conscious about women's issues nowadays compared to 20, 30, 40, 50 plus or 100 plus years ago, and there are some people who are more considerate of women, there's also been a rise of misogynists and evil male supremacists who deliberately treat women badly because they are women while being fully aware of the injustices women face while lying or exaggerating the injustices men face. That's what I have learned from the internet, especially YouTube. While when men treated women badly in the past, it was more likely due to their subconsciousness and them being unaware. And men only treated certain women with chivalry, not all women. They treated women they found attractive better than the women they didn't find attractive. They also treated women with higher social authority better. For example, queens, princesses, and noble women, but not the common woman. And they'll consider some women to be witches and unfairly punish them for doing things they consider impossible or for being born under a certain caste. The reason the women from the Titanic were rescued first was mainly because they were high status, not just because they were women. Regardless whether or not women were treated with more chivalry back then, Women should never agree to sacrifice their rights and freedom just for the hope of this theoretical chivalry to come back. Women shouldn't have to restrict themselves for men to be decent human beings. Women shouldn't have to restrict themselves just so men wouldn't be hateful, evil, abusive, violent, and dangerous. In fact, women being disenfranchised will just encourage more of those things from men at this point.